All right, welcome to the Fujifilm X-T2 exciting box opening. Just got my camera delivered yesterday and I am ready to go open it up and check it out. So I wanted to point out a couple interesting features and uh, but first let's get to opening up this camera. So I'm assuming, oh, we got the uh, nice X cut out on top. Got slightly nice booklet included. We've got the camera. Then below here, we've got the accessory kit, which we just got a tug out. So that will be the charger, the pop up included flash, the nice EFX8 course goes on the top strap charger battery now of course like we'll get to this talking about the battery in a moment let's put this down for a sec and talk about the camera opening it up for the first time nice always great to have a brand new camera you can see of course it has the convenient cable release socket comes with the cover up top, which we're gonna talk about the cover kit. Pop out screen, tilt screen, with a new feature of course, which allows it to tilt upward in the vertical position, which is great for landscape, nature folks, etc. Let's put the battery in. Now the battery has been a source of uh, conversation since there are two of the almost identical 126 batteries. On the right is the 126S, which is for the X-T2, and the left is the, one, the standard 126, which is for all other X cameras <clears throat> that have interchangeable lenses. The only difference in the two batteries is that the one on the right, which is for the X-T2, allows for a little additional heat to flow through the camera and body uh, battery, of course, while doing uh, video which is 4K video, which can increase the heat, as many people know. So let's pop this in. One thing that if you do get really technical on it and you want to look into another X body, the inside has four contacts, and on the other X bodies, like the X-Pro2 and XE2S, has three contacts, but all the batteries have four contacts. So we're going to pop that in. Now we've got our X-T2. Here are the two battery types. I want to show you that a couple nice features. I happen to love the metal grip. This is on this body. I'm just going to take it off here. The metal hand grip is, of course, steel with the built in tripod bracket adapter into it, and of course, the battery access. So, this is a nice option. But the real option that everybody wants to talk about is the new X-T2 vertical booster grip. This allows the camera to move up from 8 frames per second to shoot 11 frames per second or in electronic shutter mode actually go up to 14 frames per second. It also allows higher time limits for 4K video, allows you to plug in a headphone jack on the side. That's right up in here. Just pull this out with my fingernails not being too good. Come on, there we go. Has charging and the headphone jack right there. And of course, takes two batteries, which can be the standard 126. If you happen to have bought a bunch of S's, fine, no problem. You can use them in there as well. But it's just important that you have the S, which comes with the body, inside the body. So the booster, of course, in order to put that on, you have to take off this cover right in here, expose the pins that match up to the pins here, and you will then have a body with booster. And then you can see the body without, then you have the extra grip if you like. The nice thing about this is it has the power boost modes, normal, or boost, which tell you what I was talking about before, increase the EVF frame rate up to 100 frames per second, 
I'm just going to scroll through this, get you there. No memory card, we'll take care of that for a sec. Um, you can see what the camera looks like with the booster on. First not booster on. Of course, the vertical handling, perfect with all your release, all your functions. Trigger up here, Q button, which is nice, functions, and of course, command dial. So, that's the new X-T2. What I wanted to show is that Fujifilm also does sell now in the US a cover kit. So in case you lose this cover, and maybe you lose this cover because you forget to put it inside the power booster holder, or if you lose your PC cap cover, we have those as well. I talked about the two boosters. Of course, there's always cap kits. We have the front caps for the body, rear cap for the lens, a nice new leather case, which is for the X-T2. This kit, since not everyone gets a seat before they buy it, comes with a great soft pouch. And you can see that it comes with a nice leather kit with the straps, snugs, and then of course to pop out so you can get to the battery without having to take it off. Nice. So that's the leather kit. And of course the X-T2 has two slots. It takes the UHS-2 cards, so the, uh, you want UHS-2, you want U3 usually, but you want UHS-2 if you want the highest speed capacity for recording 4K video, and of course they can go up to now 128, 256 if you like. So that's a quick overview. I uh, hope you enjoy the X-T2, lots of new features, but there's so many places there online that I'm not going to get into all the features here, just to say that this camera is incredibly impressive beautiful in the hand and just super speedy and of course with the booster all that plus a little bit more for those folks that are speed freaks so hope you check it out thanks a lot for your time